Hey guys, how you doing today? It is Steve on the Guru Brew, and today I'm going to show you how to use VirtualBox and install Windows 10 on it. Now, VirtualBox is a really neat freeware program that you can install on your machine, and then you can use it to install other operating systems that you might want to play with on the same machine. Now I have a Windows 7 here and I could actually install VirtualBox and put Linux on this same machine just to play around with it. Or I could put the new Windows 10 or if I wanted to put Windows 8 on here and try it I could do that too. And then when you're all done you can actually delete that operating system and you won't harm the rest of your computer and it frees up the space and you're still using your Windows 7. So hang out with me as we use VirtualBox and install Windows 10. Let's coming up. We're here at virtualbox.org and this is the home of VirtualBox, the download. And it's open source and it runs on quite a few different hosts. It'll run on Windows, Linux, Macintosh, and the operating systems are, you know, for Windows, you can use this on NT, Windows 2000, XP, Server 2003, Vista, Windows 7, or 8, pretty much anything you can throw at it. And it's updated all the time, so this is really well-supported software, and it is free, although if you use it a lot, you should probably contribute to the project keep it going that's how it stays strong so anyway let's go ahead and just uh, go to the downloads button you can read all this stuff if you want but I'm just going to show you the highlights and we're going to assume that you're using a Windows machine to install this on and you'll look down through these uh, these downloads and you can see that this is for the Windows here Windows platform and you can take usually the latest one which is 4.3.20 is this version and you can see it w works on the x86 as well as AMD uh, you know if you have 64 bit and that's the one I actually used but it's the same download so you can just go ahead and click on this and you know go ahead and save the file I've already saved it so I'm going to show you um, what it looks like once it's installed okay since we're at the download page, I think it's also worth noting that you might want to go ahead and download this expansion pack as well. And what this will allow you to do is um, make it so that your USB ports are available to your virtual machine. So basically, you know, your USB mice and things like that will go ahead and work just like it was on a regular machine. So highly re recommended you download this as well. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing installed. Okay, I went ahead and uh, installed VirtualBox after it was finished downloading. It was very easy to do, so I didn't document it. But anyway, VirtualBox has went ahead and started up, and this is what it looks like. This is actually VirtualBox. Now, this area on yours is going to be empty, and so is this. I have data here because I already have two versions of Windows installed. You can see the two here. And we're actually going to make a third so I can demonstrate how to use this. Now, you can actually add as many operating systems on your virtual box as you like. You could add Windows Vista, XP, um, Windows 8, whatever disk or downloads that you have, you're able to add versions of that as long as you have enough hard drive to support that. Anyway, let's go ahead and make a new virtual image of Windows 10. We're going to click this new bu button here. And it's asking for a name. We're going to call this Windows 10 Test. And it's asking for a type and a setup for Windows already, but I just wanted to show you. You can put all these other types of operating systems on here, including Mac and Linux. So we're just going to go ahead with the Windows. And it's also asking for the version, and it's set up for XP right now. If we click this, you can see that uh, there's all different flavors of Windows here. Now, this only goes up to Windows 8.1. 
and uh, there's an other windows here but uh, the reason why 10 is not in this list yet is because it's still you know it's still being made and it's not ready for the masses yet but if you choose the windows 8.1 that'll work just fine now make sure that you grab the right version for your machine it's either 32 or 64 bit now mine is 64 bit if you're unsure you can always go to the start menu and right click on computer and it will tell you if you're running 32 or 64 bit to make sure so anyway I'm gonna choose this one next this is asking me how much memory I want to allocate for this operating system and you can see that there's like a red zone in here and if I pull the pointer over here this increases the memory and this decreases and I can take it right up to about here before I start having system problems now of course your your scale is going to differ just depending on how much memory you have installed in your machine I'm going to take this to about two two and a half um, gig I think will be fine for Windows 10. If unsure, you can always look up the specifications for Windows 10 and see what they recommend. But I think uh, two and a half gig will be plenty for memory. Let's hit next. On the hard drive, it's asking um, basically what type of hard drive. For this, for now, just choose the virtual hard drive and then hit create. Another question about the hard drive, and once you get familiar with this virtual box and start playing with it, you can try other settings. But for now, just choose the first one, the virtual box disk image. Next. In this question, um, I've got it set on dynamic allocated, and what that does is it will it will make the hard drive bigger as it's needed. If you choose the fixed size here it will take all the the uh, hard drive space at one time so it's better to go dynamic and just get it as you need it hit next you can use this button here if you want to um, make the hard drive an external device like if you have an external hard drive we're just gonna leave it alone at this and uh, go with the default and this is how big you want the hard drive and I'm gonna go ahead and take this up to uh, I think 150 gig will be fine for our Windows 10 test I think it needs at least a gig so we'll go a gig and a half hit create here okay very good our virtual machine is done and all we have to do now is supply an operating system to it so we're going to do that next okay I'm on the download page of the Windows 10 technical preview and uh, I'll go ahead and leave the link for this in the description you can go ahead and download this and the only requirement that they have is that you sign up and it's free for this Windows Insider program and it's just basically give your name and address and it only takes a few minutes and then you'll be able to use this version so you can go ahead and read this if you want I'm just going to show you how to download it real quick you can go down here to the bottom and pick your language mine's English United States and again there's two versions of the technical preview for 64 or 32 bit and again you can right click on computer and find out that information if you don't know so anyway mine's the 64 bit and I can click this button you can see that it's 4 gig in size so it's probably going to take about an hour hour and a half to download this so be prepared for that and then go ahead and save it to your download folder and uh, I'll show you what to do next after that that's coming up alright so my Windows 10 technical preview is finished download and it took about an hour a little over an hour you can see it's right here it's over four gig in size and the type is a disk image and you just want to make note of where that's located you can see I've got it in my Windows download folder because when we fire up our virtual box we'll have to point it to that so just make note of that 
Okay, let's go ahead and go to our virtual box and go ahead and install this. Okay, one more thing I wanted to add before you go ahead and install your operating system on VirtualBox is to go up under your file and your preferences and click on this extensions box here. And this is the download that I told you earlier that you should take when you're at the VirtualBox website. This expansion pack will allow other features to work that you might need such as your USB support for your virtual machines. If you don't download this and install it, um, your USB mouse or keyboard and flash drives and stuff like that may not work. So make sure you install this. It, I already have it installed, but it's just a matter of clicking this button, locating the download, and then following the prompts. Very easy. Okay, so now that we've got that settled, we're going to go ahead and install that uh, that uh, Windows 10. So to do that we want to just make sure we're on our right uh, operating system here and go ahead and click the start button. That's going to start up VirtualBox and what it's asking us to do at this point is to find the file for Windows 10. So we're going to go ahead and click on this little folder and locate that download and you can see here's mine it's the Windows 10 technical preview and I'm gonna click that and hit open and then I'm gonna hit start so it looks like it went ahead and booted from the ISO that's good and Windows is now beginning to install so it's just a matter now of uh, installing it just like you would on a, a empty machine like it was the first time you were running it Okay, so it's asking for my language and time and all that. I'm going to hit next. And hit this button right here. Install now. We're going to go ahead and accept the licensing terms. Next. And then when you get to this point, you want to make sure that you uh, hit this custom button. We're not upgrading. We're doing a new one. So hit custom. You can see that it's found my my partitioned hard drive that I did earlier that's uh, about uh, 150 gig, which is here. We're going to go ahead and hit next. And there it goes. It's beginning to install the operating system and put all the features and updates on and then finish up. So it's just a matter now of waiting for this. Well, it looks like it's almost finished installing. You can see it's firing up. It restarted there after it took all the files. So we've just got to wait. I'm just going to go ahead and use the express setting here. So VirtualBox will take care of everything, including the network connection. You can see it's checking that now. It's just a really nice program how, you know, VirtualBox shares the resources on a machine that really doesn't exist. It's actually pretty neat. Now, this is where you need to put in your Microsoft account. Remember a little bit earlier where I showed you on the Windows 10 download page um, how to sign up for an account. What you're going to want to do is put that information in, in this box now. I'm going to go ahead and put my username and password in and I'll be back. Okay, so I went ahead and put my username and password in there and um, what happens after that is they email you a code and you have to also put the code in and I didn't know my code, I forgot it, so I might have to put it in shortly, but uh, that's fine. I said I couldn't do it at the moment, and it's went ahead and still installing, so I'm just going to wait for it to ask me about that code again, and uh, we'll continue. Well, look at that. We have installed Windows 10 on this machine, and this is it. And it's inside this little window right now. We can use this maximize button to fill it up. 
Now you'll notice that it's square and you can go in and try to change the settings for your monitor if you want and I tried but uh, square is all they offer right now so just be aware of that you can't do a full full screen but uh, as I click this you can see I'm logged in as that account I set up and when I minimize my windows you can see that uh, this virtual box is running and it's right here and to stop it from running you can click the start menu and choose this button right here and just shut down You can see it shutting down windows just like it was a real machine. And it's now closed. And you can see right here, it shows it as off. And now I could come up and start this one if I wanted, or I can just restart this. And once you start it, it starts up as an installed program. Let's watch it real quick and see what it does. So there it just launched Windows. It was looking for a startup disk and it realized it didn't have one. So look at that. Windows 10 is now on this machine. It is that simple. Let's go out for some final thoughts. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you got some use out of this little tutorial. You know, VirtualBox is used by many types of computer users. Often people will use VirtualBox to try different versions of software and see if some software that they wrote perhaps will work on Vista as well as XP and vice versa. Security people in technology will often use VirtualBox for trying out viruses and see what cleans up machines. And hobbyists like to use it just to try out different operating systems without destroying their normal computer. So as you can see, VirtualBox has a lot of uses. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. Just put them down below, and we'll see you on the next tutorial. Bye for now.